The midsole is entirely infilled with one latticing structure. I want to modulate my lattice thickness or you can merge two patterns into each other. The Ultrasim lattice engine is now maturing into high design. We really saw the unique capabilities of high design and how easy it is to create superior lattices in a matter of minutes. So I'm very excited to announce today the open beta launch of high design together with Moritz from Hypergenic. Because this way we can combine our expertise and materials together with Hypergenic's expertise in software to build a software solution that makes the development of lattice applications for our customers much easier and more accessible. And these structures derived from nature become increasingly interesting in manufacturing and with 3D printing, they can be realized quite easily. And here they typically enhance the product performance, they reduce the material usage and enable innovative designs. Now, as interesting as these lattice applications are, the development of these lattice applications still require a lot of expertise in order to design these complex structures. There are so many different lattice types out there that you have millions of options to choose from. The lattice application development should not be this difficult. First, we build a lattice library is fully publicly available um, and it contains all pre-selected validated lattices that allow you to quickly filter what lattices work for what applications. Now the second thing that we did was to partner up together with Hypergenic. So you'll see my browser now and uh, I'll open up iDesign. I'll import the uh, midsole file and now let's infill this with a BAS forward AM lattice. This page lists all the validated materials. Now I know what lattices to use. I select a footwear latticing pad. I select the code B and I select one. And you'll see a uniform lattice infill through this midsole. So now I want to modulate my lattice thickness. I can go back and do that by uploading grayscale images. And in just a second, we should see the results. There we go. A Boolean union these together into one midsole that we then can export and put on the printer. We support a wide range of exports. The, additionally to that, we introduced a far more capable and versatile TPMS approach. You can grade them, you can vary cell sizes, you can map them spherically, cylindrically, you can merge TPMSs into each other. Our feature roadmap is packed with very, very exciting new developments and we're looking to integrate our meshless simulation methods for structures and fluids into high design in the coming months. Thank you so much, Moritz and Marius. That was really exciting. Until next time, stay curious, keep innovating, and let's keep moving forward together. Thanks so much.